Hi, this is Cheryl from Farmhouse Frugally. Welcome to part two of an Honest Tamu review. I got the second half of the Tamu order that I had placed and I just wanted to quickly go over it with you. As indicated, this is the last time I'm going to place an order with them. Um, just don't want to support China, but I did want to tell you the rest of the order and how that um, looks. So I will just go over each item with you. I did order four t-shirts. And this first one is cotton. Size medium, which is my size. Looks like it will fit just right. Definitely decent quality. Actually, I like the, the little sleeve. It doesn't have those big bulky t-shirt sleeves. And the screen print almost a rubbery screen printing feel to it. This one cost $4.19. Well worth it. The next one was $8.09. So they definitely ranged all over the place. They each do come in their own little zip bag. This has the bigger sleeves that I'm not crazy about. It is definitely the right size for a medium. And I love the saying, but it is very much a shiny, see if you can tell, weird, like slippery. Not sure how it's gonna hold up in the laundry. I'll probably have to turn it inside out. It says whisper words of wisdom, let it be. And it has the v-neck on that one now for an american company i like love and faith they're pretty much always ten dollars um, and their quality is almost as good as this price is a little bit higher but they are made in the u.s as far as i could tell the third one is totally polyester 100 percent could be on me i didn't read i just assumed that it was it is a little bigger than the other two but again Will probably fit just right very cute this is also this one's more um, not shiny a little bit more matte um, really cute design on that seven dollars and 59 cents and then the last one and this is the way they come they come in their each in their own individual zip pack all the clothes that I've gotten so far from there tend to be this one is also cotton, nope, 70% polyester, 30% viscose, but actually nice. It's gonna have that stretchy sort of nice feel. Love the color, design, so cute. It's a little bit, again, though, that shiny, rubbery, almost plastic. This one, $5.29. So we'll see how they hold up, but for five bucks, you know, what do you want? They're, they're not, not a bad price. I decided I would get a few of their, they have a pack of women's undies. $7.09 for a seven pack, so a buck a pair. Uh, hard to tell on the website what they were gonna be like. Um, they came in a variety of different colors and literally they're just cut. There's not a hem on them, so. They are just, you know, I can't imagine they'll be worth, I don't know if you can see, but there's no hem at all on the whole thing. So that's a no. Um, then I ordered what looked like a rather large roll of trim. I've seen other crafters use this in their crafting. They're like little, doesn't look anywhere near as nice as the picture. They are like a plasticky fabric. Um, so I don't know how many yards this is, does it say? Yeah, they're showing you that it's 395 feet. No way that this is 395 feet, $1.18. Not a problem for that price. The next thing I got is supposed to be, they're calling this um, hydrangeas. These are not hydrangeas at all. 
They're just a mix. Not a bad color. Just nothing amazing texture-wise. They, they don't have a great quality to them. Not like the other ones I ordered. The other ones were better. But uh, this is $1.98. So better than you're going to get at the dollar store. Um, I did get to try for 79 cents for my husband one of those little anti-snoring nose rings put that in your nose we shall see <laughs> um most disappointing was the puzzle i got my granddaughter it was two dollars 98 cents it is called a montessori wooden puzzle and it looks like a normal size puzzle in fact i'm pretty sure i checked the size of it and this is what i got too small. I don't know. She, I don't think she could swallow any of them, but I'm not going to find out. So that's a no. And then I know I had showed you the roses that I got in the last one, which were all one color. And I thought it was weird. Did they give me the wrong one? And then my bad. I must have ordered <laughs> this one and that one by accident. I probably put them both in the cart intending to take one out and ended up with both of them. These are $8.00. 98 cents, so nine bucks, and you get, I believe it's 24. This one is in a box, the other one was in a bag. Um, so maybe two different manufacturers. Um, I obviously like this one better because there's more versatility with the different variegated colors that I get. So again, same idea, they send you about four or five, oh no, more, actually this time they sent me, one, two, three, four, yeah, I think they might have sent me eight or ten of the green stem, the green leaves, whereas before they only sent me four. And then these are the same. It's like a foamy um, floral. So I actually really like these. Eight or nine bucks, definitely worth it. But as I said, I won't be placing another order, but I did want you, I wanted to be fair, let you know what I thought, and then you can make your own decision. So I know you've probably seen a whole bunch of Tamu. Um, unboxings all over YouTube so um, it's a hit or miss read the fine print takes two weeks to get it and to be honest with you they were supposed to give me a $10 coupon with this which they did not getting a hold of customer service almost impossible so ultimately I'll stick with the US so there you have it hi back again I did want to tell you I tried on all of the t-shirts and the three cotton-ish ones were awesome, fit perfect, gonna be pretty good, I think, especially if I turn them inside out to wash them. That white polyester one, much too large. So that medium, uh, really I should have got a small, but the sleeves even still were very, very large on it. So as adorable as that truck is, I may cut that out and do something with it, maybe make a pillow, but I won't be wearing it as a t-shirt. So just to let you know that. And I did go on my Love and Faith. I looked up, I have the, um, I think I have the app for that, but I'll try to link the, um, I think it's loveandfaith.com, honestly. But uh, I'll try to put a link to, in the description box in case that's something you're interested in. And uh, two of the ones that I bought from them were made in the United States and one was made in Bangladesh so better than China. So I figured that that is um, a great alternative, especially if you like um, faith-based apparel. It's not always easy to find. Um, and also the price, if you wait for their sales, which they have constantly, um, comes out to be about 10 bucks. Even a lot of the long-sleeved ones were. So it, well worth it if you're looking for that. And then let me know in the comments if you're interested in my um, giving you the occasional American made, uh, type thing. I have looked, uh, at a number of products that I've purchased recently and have been trying out in my home, either cleaning products or, um, skincare products or other things like that, um, at some of the American made ones. And if that is something of interest to you, I really didn't see much on YouTube. I was surprised. I thought, oh, there's a million people doing that. I didn't find that. So, if you have an interest in that, maybe because there's not a lot of stuff made in America, we shall see. But if that's something you like, then let me know and I will see about maybe once every couple of months, maybe just doing a video of the products that I have found uh, and what I think of them. And, um, you know, I, obviously they're going to be a little more expensive when they're made in the USA. Our cost of living as well as our... Um, 
wage for people is significantly higher. So clearly you're going to pay more. But if you feel like I do about supporting the country you live in, I assume most of my viewers come from America. I'm sure that's not 100% true. Um, but needless to say, um, if you're interested, let me know and I'll see what I can do about that. And I just wanted to tell you, I appreciate you. Thank you for stopping by. And I am excited about some end tables that I am hoping to flip soon as we get some sunshine. <laughs> I want to go out in my garage or out in my driveway, but it's been chilly here. So um, I will see what I have for Trash to Treasures. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.